Good afternoon, everybody. Microphone. 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 Sorry? One microphone. That's what this was for. Can you hear me? Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to the IBA conference. Uh, thanks, Mr. Speaker. And uh, good to be joined by two colleagues on either side who will be able to answer questions further down the line as required. So we appreciate uh, your patience today. Um, it's a hot room, so I uh, apologize again for the delay. But thanks very much for, uh, for joining. Um, I think we can quite rightly say that it's been a real storm over the last week, certainly, with this particular bout. And I think to shed light on the situation, for us in particular, we'll just be able to give you some facts as to where we were and uh, where we are, where we're going. And I think it's important, particularly with the media, how both of these boxes um, have been threat, which is not good, uh, particularly after the, the Italian uh, contest with uh, uh, Angela Carini. And, uh, you know, for us and the president, certainly, the uh, safety and the paramount, the box, the paramount and safety of the boxes is, is key for us to make sure that whether they're in the ring, out of the ring, and indeed doing the business, we need to make sure that they're protected at all times. So what I'd like to do is just give you a bit of an overview on where we were uh, and why we've come to this situation. And, of course, the first thing I'd like to say is that the IBA had never discussed or pointed out in the first instance prior to this competition. I'm talking about this competition. There was nothing raised by us for this competition uh, regarding the bout or anything of that nature. The information that we gave was prior to the IOC. Uh, information was given to the IOC some time back, uh, and, and that information was delivered um, in 2023. And it wasn't something that we, we were raising prior to this event. The eventualities of the bout that came about with Imam Khalif and uh, Angela Carini have obviously sparked this situation. We feel it appropriate the IBA are able to comment on what happened uh, up to this point. So what I'd like to do is just talk about both boxers. Um, Imam Khalif came into IBA, was competing from 2018, and uh, Lynn from 2017. And you can recall that the, IE, but the IBA, as it currently stands now, is uh, came into effect at the end of 20, end of 2020, uh, into 21. And uh, the stance that we've taken, we've looked at this situation. Um, okay, apologies. So, um, what we'd like to talk about is uh, the initial world championships in 2022, when this was initially brought about. Uh, there was a number of concerns from uh, boxers, coaches, um, indeed the medical team, medical staff, the ringside doctors regarding these two boxers in particular. Blood tests were taken, um, a gender test was taken as it was during the Women's World Championships in 2022 in Istanbul. Um, and uh, at that point, I'm just going to highlight here, so on the 17th of May, 2022, the uh, results were taken, the blood tests were taken by uh, a lab known as System Tip Laboratory in Istanbul. Um, we can give the license numbers out so you'll be aware of that. And uh, the results from there were issued on the 24th of May. Okay. The tests were taken and uh, the, the results, I'm going to discuss this shortly. The results uh, that, were, that were brought out were, were inconsistent. So, further to which, um, there's been a number of questions as to why, but uh, we came about to the next female championships was taking part in 2023. So there is a time gap, but the reason for that is because we wanted two tests. So there's two tests required, not one, but two tests. Time gap between, and then to the, the next uh, world championships, which was taking place in India. Okay, so we go to the female world championships uh, that took place between the 15th and 26th of March. Uh, both boxers uh, entered the championships and uh, at which point on the 17th of March 2023 uh, both boxers were uh, asked to take a further uh, blood test. 
That happened and on the 23rd of March, the results came through and uh, it, it demonstrated uh, the chromosomes that uh, we refer to within the technical and competition rules uh, that make both boxes ineligible. And uh, that was then further ratified by the BOD, our board of directors that was taken there to uh, remove both boxes from the championships. That was on the 26th of March, 2023. Uh, we had a, a letter that uh, Mr. Yarolimpos had uh, put forward to the board and uh, with this it explained fully what, uh, what the situation was. Uh, we've got uh, a document that Mr. Yarolimpos sent to both boxes and uh, within that document, and we'll let you see these documents, there is an attached um, referral to the blood tests that were taken. Okay. We're not in a position due to non-disclosure and uh, medical inconfidence. We're not able to give you the, the actual blood test itself. But what we can show you is the front cover copy with the annex, uh, which we'll put up on the uh, show shortly to uh, indicate what that was. And a signature on the bottom of both documents by both boxes who received those blood tests accordingly. Um, both boxes had uh, the possibility to appeal to CAS within a 21 day period. Further to which, uh, the Chinese Taipei boxer, uh, Ting Lin, she did not appeal, um, and that was a legally binding uh, result. And on the back of that, we then had the discussions with, and indeed further discussions with Imam Khalif about the results uh, on the boxer's behalf. Now, she did challenge that um, on the 14th of April, 2023, and uh, challenge the, the CAS appeal. IBA paid for the costs on this, or the majority of the costs, uh, the boxer was expected to pay part of those costs, um, and preceding that, the, it, it, it didn't happen. So on the 27th of July, uh, cash, the CAS, the Court of uh, Arbitration of Sport, issued a termination order, and the proceedings uh, against the appellant did not, she didn't pay, we paid the cost, but on the back end of that, the results came out that uh, no further action to be taken. Um, the conclusions to which uh, are extremely challenging because for this boxer and for, for Lind, clearly the, uh, the technical and competition rules that apply to IBA, uh, and as we've seen in this instance, are indifferent to that of the IOC. We've had uh, a letter that was sent to the IOC uh, by Mr. Yarrow Limpos informing them of this uh, decision by IBA and the criteria within that and where they fall within that uh, eligibility. Uh, sent to Mr. Kit McConnell and we've got a response back. So we'll be able to uh, show you those letters accordingly. Um, previous to that, after the situation in 2022, the, <clears throat> the results of that again were communicated to the IOC uh, verbally, uh, the meeting with uh, the sports director of IBA, the previous uh, two outgoing, uh, Mr. Kovacs, and uh, one of the lead Paris boxing unit, who's actually here now, was also on that call. So that information was relayed. Um, so contrary to what was discussed in the conference at the weekend, the IOC have received this information. And uh, clearly for us, uh, the interesting situation here is, is that uh, whilst the IOC have had that information previously, uh, they haven't done anything with it. Uh, we had the response and they haven't taken that forward because they rely on their own criteria, which is based against, I believe, and what I'm hearing is, is the passport to enter the competition. Okay. So with that, um, what I will say is this. We never intended to raise any of, the, any of these issues at this event because this is not our event. This event belongs to the IOC. The whereabouts of this has come out based on um, the result of the bout between the uh, Italian uh, Angela Carini and the main Khalif. Um, I will point out that the president of the Italian Boxing Federation indeed hasn't been happy with previous results, and I would like to say that the um, in this instance, there was questions raised by the Italian Federation prior to her bout that took place. 
So in this instance, the, uh, the situation, from my perspective, is, has been raised and has been brought forward but with the actions of the, uh, the Italian boxer in the ring. Um, difficult because both boxers have worked extremely hard towards their own goals and of course we find ourselves in this difficult situation now, particularly uh, Iman Khalif who steps through to the next stages uh, and is hoping to win uh, Olympic gold. We in IBA uh, understand the difficulties that this has brought about uh, for the whole tournament and it's, uh, it's never been our uh, intention to bring any of this about. Of course, uh, what you see is uh, the, the actions of uh, the boxer in the, uh, with, in the Italian bout uh, with Aman Khalif and then further to that, the reason why we're sat here. So there's some uh, brief facts, a, a brief going over as to where we are in that current situation. Uh, we've got the administration to support that. What I will say is, is that we're not able to disclose uh, the results of any tests, but you can uh, read between the lines where that sits. And of course, uh, what I'd also like to mention here is that uh, yesterday evening and this morning we've received letters from the NOCs in Chinese Taipei and uh, Algeria respectively informing us that we can't disclose any information pertinent to either boxer. So we've had that information through um, uh, early hours this morning and this morning. So you can see what that means. So again, uh, read between the lines. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not in a position to show any results, um, but uh, from our perspective, IBA's eligibility criteria that sits within the technical and competition rules um, has been pushed across the IOC uh, and they have that uh, information already. So that's currently where we are. Um, I think just as an opening gambit, um, I hope that's kind of set the scene for you. Uh, we can produce something that will give you those dates, just so you're, uh, you know, there is no confusion there. Um, but I hope that's given you a bit of a, an overview of where we've come to.